sabihin nyo lang ako lang kayo sa mo para lumihis yung investigasyon hindi mapukos sa amin bang i-present dito ganun lang bahala lo sa inyo kasi ang nangyari kapag ginagawa niyo ang iwan mo yung mga documents maliban sa na-file mo na mga documents doon sa DOJ sa Ombudsman sa Rias Nias sa Honor Mr. Chair Oh, hindi ka nagpapotokapi nun. Yung dalawa mismo, magpilaro, di yung... Lahat ng... Totoo ba yun, Mr. Chair? Ang original talaga ang sa akin at the time, but ipaturn over yun when I was assigned... Nasaan ngayon yun? Sa provincial director ko at the time. Pwede ba natin pasapuin na yun? Pwede siguro, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Pwede, no? Yes. Original lahat, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Pwede magawa ng committee. Oo. But later on, at a proper time, perhaps, I could be able to make a motion here to subpoena the document that Colonel Espinido said sa kanyang number 10 na affidavit. Ito namang number 16, ano? Sa number 16, sinabi mo, the CIDG handled the cases against Kerwin. They were subsequently dismissed. I believe, ibig sabihin, naniniwala ka, Chip De La Rosa was, was involved in the dismissal of the cases that I built up against Kerwin Espinosa. Now, ang tanong ko, bakit ka naniniwala doon? Why do you believe that Chip De La Rosa was involved in the dismissal of the case that you built up against Kerwin Espinosa? At the time, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, si Kerwin Espinosa is hawak nila ni Chief PNP Bato at saka ni uh, Kernel Tiro. How do you know that hawak nila yun? Hindi man nila binigay sa akin, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. So yun lang, yun lang ang dahilan. Al uh, yung aniniwala kang hawak nila sapagkat hindi ibinigay sa'yo. Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. At pagkatapos, pinagbintangan ka na ikaw ay isa, isa rin drug lord. Ganun ba yan? Yun ang pinaniwalaan nila, Ms. Uh, Your Honor, Mrs. Sir. Si, doon na sila naniniwala. Sa sabi-sabi nila, sa akin, hindi na. Si Chip Del Rosa ba ang nagsabi na ikaw ay drug lord at nalagay ka sa drug list? Ang sabi lang niya, Your Honor, Mr. Sir, as I, I remember na, Juby, uh, tumanggap ka pala ng 20,000 per month. Nandoon ka sa Dabao na assign. Sino po nagsabi noon? Si General Bato de la Rosa. Okay, ulitin natin. Office. Chief de la Rosa, sinabi sa iyo ang alin, nakatanggap ka ng? 20,000 per month. Okay. Bakit niya nasabi yun? So ako nag, uh, sabi sa kanya, Your Honor, Mr. Sir, na, Sir, bakit ganun naman ang, ang, ang pagkuhan uh, niyo sa akin? Sabi niya, oh, si Albert, galing sa, kay Kirwin, naghuli doon, ang sabi ni Kirwin sa kanya, so lumabas ka agad si Albert Pero, uh, Colonel Albert Pero, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, from the side, other side sa office ni Chief NP ba to, siya din ang uh, nag-confirm, nagsabi na na, oh, totoo yun, Juby. Kinausap ko si Kirwin. Nagsasabi siya talaga na tumanggap ka ng 20,000. Palagay mo kaya, pag si Kevin Espinosa ay pinatawag natin dito, he will confirm your statement? Your Honor, Mr. Chair, ah, uh, Nagtistipay na siya sa Senate, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Na hindi, sa dalawang affidavit niya na binasa, ni Espinido na pangalan, hindi binanggit na tumanggap ng pira. So, doon sa Senado, sa Senado, pinaniwalaan ka niya? Siguro na konsensya, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, na hindi talaga ako... Palagay mo kaya dito sa aming committee, makukonsensya rin siya? Hindi... Kasi kung palagay mo halimbawa, pwede natin patawag si Kevin Spinoza upang confirm ang iyong testimony ngayong hapon, ah, eh ipapatawag natin. Pero, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, hindi maganda dito pa salitain natin yung drug lord. Confess drug lord si Kevin Spinoza, Your Honor, Mr. He is confess drug lord, but uh, yet, nasa labas, walang nangyari. Ah, ganun. Sino, sino kaya nagpalabas sa kanya? Si Chip De La Rosa ba? Ang sasabi mo? Naniniwala ka nang nagpa-dismiss ng kaso ni Kevin Espinosa na pinapaniwalaan mo ng drug lord si Senator Bato de la Rosa. Uh, please, allow me not to answer that kind of question, okay. Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Hindi, na nabanggit mo na kasi dito eh. Ano, eh pag nabanggit mo yan dito, eh, nagiging public na yan. Kahit na sabihin mo hindi mo isasabihin dito, pero na, na, nabanggit mo na dito eh. Your Honor, Mr. Chair, 
uh, directly pagsabi natin na ako nakarinig or maniniwala na si Sir Bato ang naka, nagpapalabas kay Espinosa, hindi siguro maganda your honor, Mr. Sir. Okay. Ito, last question na lang, no? Uh, nakalagay sa, na, sinayin mo sa number 20 na yung uh, salaysay. Right after my transfer, I had a meeting with Mayor Aldong Parujinog inside a Baptist church. Yes, sir. Eh, ako po'y Baptist bishop eh. Ano pong Baptist yun? Ah, uh, He did by Pastor Ricardo Portuna, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, Baptist Pastor Par uh, Parcona ba? Cortona, Your Honor. Cortona. Oo. Narinig niya lahat ang pinag-usapan niyo? Hindi lahat, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chair, kasi palakad-lakad si Pastor. Siya lang ang nag uh, closing prayer sa meeting namin. So, alam niya ang nangyayari. Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Siya ba that, ay kakampi mo o kakampi ni Ricardo Parujino? That is the first time na nakita kami, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Nakita ko kasi na yung church is a neutral ground na mag-usap kami ni Mayor. Ah, neutral ground. Yes, Your Honor, oh. Mr. Chair. So, kung meron siyang palagay kong alam dyan, eh, kinakailangan siguro patawag din natin yung Baptist pastor na yan para mag-testify, na i-confirm ang sinasabi mo. Sapakat kailangan din natin dito ng mga witnesses that will confirm what you're saying. Alam mo, meron tayo, meron batas ang Hudyo in the Old Testament. Nakalagay doon, where there are two or three witnesses, an yes, accusation sir. is established. Yes, Your Honor. Palagay ko, attorney, ganun din dito, no? Di ba? There are the two or three witnesses. So, please, if you can, provide us two or three witnesses that will confirm your statement because mas believable yan ah, sapagkat look, aatakihin na naman tayo sa labas, sabihin na naman sa ating hearsay ang sinasabi mo. Eh. And that is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagkakato na binigay niyo sa akin and I would like to also present another witness no, to this committee Uh, Major Jimmy Fortaleza. The copies of his affidavit has been distributed earlier to our members here. He is also a vital witness. And uh, uh, when I made my uh, opening remarks that I also stated his name to be uh, mentioned as uh, to be granted immunity because of the sensitivity of his statements. Maraming maraming salamat, uh, Colonel Joby. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you uh, Congressman Abante. Uh, for the meantime, uh, we will uh, excuse uh, Colonel Espinido and his lawyer. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Thank you. For the information of uh, everybody, uh, our next witness, as presented by uh, Congressman Benny Abante, is a PDL at uh, Davao Penal Colony. And uh, as uh, mentioned earlier by Congressman Abante, copies of his affidavit has Sir, already been distributed to the members for your perusal. Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Congressman Fernandez. Um, I think uh, we let um, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Espin Espinido to, uh, to be excused for today's uh, Uh, executive session, considering that it's already three in the afternoon, and we have to discuss the issue of uh, uh, Jimmy, uh, Major Jimmy Portalesa, and at the same time, we have a pogo issue that we have to tackle, and I think uh, we will be having a uh, longer time to uh, to uh, discuss the issue of pogo. So, uh, it's the uh, the um, the pleasure of the body to uh, have another set of uh, executive session. It's better for all of us. Is uh, Congressman Fernandez proposing a executive session now? No, no, no. I mean uh, on another date. Uh, so you want to reschedule the executive session uh, on an for another date? Yes, yes uh, Mr. Chairman. If uh, what is the pleasure of uh, the committee, Mr. Chair? I support the uh, proposal of uh, Chairman Dan, considering that we still have one resource person here, 
and we'll be tackling the pogo wherein uh, we are inviting Miss Cassandra Leong to uh, be present. So it will take a lot of time. It's already 3 p.m. So uh, I support the suggestion that we have the executive session uh, some other day. Okay. Um, what about the other members? Would you like to comment on the request made by Chair Dan Fernandez to reschedule the executive session with uh, Colonel uh, Jovi Espinido? Yes, M Mr. Chair. Yes, Congressman Almario. Yes, um, in the interest of time and also the quality to improve the quality of our meetings and hearings, it would be best. I, I agree. It would be best to move the executive session to another date. Uh, it seems that no one is objecting to the request of Congressman Dan Fernandez. So we are all amenable to reschedule the executive session with uh, Colonel Jovi Espin Espinido to another date. Okay, thank you. Now, Mr. Uh, uh, um, before, uh, Mr. Chairman, just a quick uh, motion. Before we proceed with uh, the PDL, former Ma Major Fortaleza, may I move, Mr. Chairman, that uh, retired General Ferro will be invited in the next hearing since the name of Ge former General Ferro was mentioned several times by our witness, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Espinito. So move, Mr. Chairman. There is a motion to invite uh, General uh, Ferro to our next uh, scheduled Quadcom hearing. Julie seconded and hearing no objection, the motion is carried. Comsec, you're directed to send invitations to General, uh, invitation to General Ferro. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, uh, are we moving to, uh, to the next uh, witness? We will now proceed with our inter interpolation no, no. our next witness. Uh, can we uh, ask for the uh, Comsec to uh, administer the oath? Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, yung oath lang muna. Comsec, while uh, we are preparing for the interpolation, can we? Can you please administer the oath of the witness? Actually, lista ko. Please um, raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this congressional inquiry? So help you God. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Comsec. Uh, Major uh, Jimmy Fortaleza, tama, no? Meron ka bang uh, ano, uh, opening statement? Uh, none, Your Honor. So, uh, handa kang sagutin ang mga katanungan ng mga membro ng committee ito tungkol dyan sa iyong affidavit na pinirmahan? Yes, Your Honor. Yan bang affidavit na yan ay ikaw mismo ang pumirma? Yes, Your Honor. Ikaw mismo ang gumawa? Yes. Okay, sige. Salamat po. Uh, we have a list of interpolators. And the first in the list, to interpolate uh, Major Jimmy Fortaleza is Congressman Johnny Pimentel. You are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I am now direct my uh, questions to our resource person. Magandang hapon sa iyo, Jimmy. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Anong buong pangalan mo, Jimmy? I am uh, former police uh, Major Jimmy Muchada Fortaleza, Your Honor. Saan ka nakakulong ngayon, Jimmy? I am presently detained on sa Sablayan Penal Farm. Your Honor. Gano'ng katagal na nakakulong na? For 16 years na, Your Honor. Anong rason ba't, uh, Mr. Chair, nakulong ka, Jimmy? I was convicted for a crime of arbitrary detention with murder, Your Honor. Arbitrary detention with murder? Yes, Your Honor. Anyway, Jimmy, Mr. Chair, meron kang sinumite rito na sinumpaang sa laysay sa Quad Committee. Itatanong ko lang sa'yo, ito ba ay pawang katotohanan itong uh, sinumiti mong uh, sinumpaang sa laysay? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, kung hindi mo marapatin sana, Jimmy, ay isa-isahin ko lang ito para malaman naman ng mga miyembro natin ano ang laman nitong uh, sinumpaang sa laysay mo. Unahin po natin, nung July 2016, 
dito sa paragraph 2. Sinabi mo na matapos manalo si President Duterte noong 2016 elections, binisita ka ni Colonel Ruina Garma, Colonel uh, Villalita, at Colonel Gihaldo. Ano po ba ang pakay nitong tatlong uh, matataas na opisyal at bakit ka binisita noong uh, July 2016? Uh, actually, Ronor, uh, pumunta sila doon para bumisita sa akin. Itong tatlo si Colonel Garma, Colonel Vilela at saka Colonel Grijaldo. At first, uh, usap lang kami itong kulot nagkamustahan. And uh, maya-maya, kinausap ako ni Colonel Garma at may tinanong siya sa akin with regards sa mga Chinese drug lords na nakapiit doon sa 